Welcome to the Driven Anywhere setup video. In this video, we're going to go over the basic setup and things you need to do to customize your Driven Anywhere application. First thing you want to do is under My Office, Company Preferences, System Mapping. Here you have your four default service types, hourly, airport departure, airport arrival, and point to point. You want to make sure these are mapped to your default service types for those services. Obviously here I have hourly going to hourly, airport departure, to airport, and so on. The next thing that you want to do is go to online reservation system, ORS 4.0 and make sure that those four default service types that you just mapped are active under the service types tab. You also want to make sure that the pricing type is set up as well. Then you want to go to the consumer app. Under the settings tab you're going to have an operator code so you can give this out to customers if you'd like. Uh, they can put in that operator code on the initial login screen to find your company. You also have your mobile download URL. This you can give as well and this will automatically log them in to Driven Anywhere for your company. You also have your customization tab. Here you can set up some customization for Driven Anywhere and this is real time so any changes you make in here will immediately apply to Driven Anywhere. So the first thing you have is company logo. So you want to upload a logo. Minimum width is a thousand pixels and it has to be in the PNG format. The next thing is colors. So you have your background splash screen color, theme color, attention color, and text color. For Driven Anywhere, the main screens you want to look at are home and checkout. Splash and sign up login do not apply to Driven Anywhere. So if you click on the home, you can change colors here. Click choose and kind of see how it will look want to make sure it looks good on the checkout screen as well as the home screen. The background photos do not apply to Driven Anywhere. Once you have that set as you like, you click Save and that will immediately change in Driven Anywhere. Also, this mobile download URL it's kind of long, so we have created the tags for custom forms and scheduled email and SMS that you can use to send to your customers as well. If you go to messaging and template settings, scheduled messaging, email, so here I've created a template for the download app. That tag is this tag here the pass app URL tag. And you can find that by clicking the orange tag, scrolling all the way down here to the bottom, and it'll have that pass app URL tag, the passenger application download URL. So you can create a scheduled email, add it to a, a scheduled email that you already have created, or an SMS as well. And it is that same tag the pass app URL. You can also add it to a custom form if you'd like as well. Once you have these things set up, your customers can download the Driven Anywhere app, log in, and start booking rides with you. This concludes the Driven Anywhere setup video. Thank you very much.